Yes, I was diagnosed in 2016, but I really had it back in 2004. I just didn't know it. I had all these different symptoms and they thought I had a brain lesion. I was having trouble with my balance. I lost a fair amount of sense of taste and smell and uh, had some cramping on the left side. A little bit of what they call pilling where my thumb and forefinger would go like this. I'm manufacturing it right now. That was happening for quite a while. So all of that just happened. They thought it was a brain lesion. They tested for that. And that was not the case. So I said, well, what is it? They went, we don't know. Okay. I was still in fairly good health. And uh, by 2016, there were enough obvious signs. Uh, someone finally spotted it and saw what was going on. And I kept going to chiropractors. My left shoulder was stiff and couldn't get it loose. So finally, um, I got diagnosed in 2016. And uh, I begin. I began my recovery in 2016. The biggest problem was my throat closing up. Uh, another problem was the uh, a bit of trembling on the left side. I manufacture now a little bit of this, and my left leg a bit too, and foot occasionally. Uh, a bit of trouble speaking as clearly as I used to be able to speak. I don't have the power in my voice that I've had before, so all that was greatly diminished because of the Parkinson's. I came down here to Tijuana, which was a very simple process. You stayed the night in San Diego, makes it very easy. You picked up early in the morning, come to the center here in Tijuana with a van that takes you in the comfort to the, with a bunch of other patients to the facility, and uh, then you get the treatment. And it, mine was a little bit of delayed reaction. It took a few months, but I started to feel and see that my sense of taste was coming back, my sense of smell was coming back a bit. That was very good. And though, you know, I've not been able to turn the clock back to 2004 before all the symptoms started, I've stopped it. It stopped right in this place right now. So that's how much I'm shaking today, which is not at all. So I'm very, very happy with the treatment, I'm very happy with, uh, you know, stopping it for now. And I. I assume things will only get better. I've stopped taking the carbidopa, levodopa on occasion, but I find that the, the tremors return a bit. So now I'm on it at a super low dose. It's, I think it's 35, 75, the carbidopa, levodopa combo and milligrams, 35 dash 75 milligrams carboleva, carboleva. And uh, that's what I'm taking now. And, uh, and that's, keeping it, keeping the, the tremors from getting worse. That's a very, very light dose, super light. And so I, I haven't had to increase that dosage at all. If you're thinking about getting alternative treatment for Parkinson's, I would speak very much in favor of trying this Stem Cell of America treatment. It's worked for me and I, I imagine it's gonna work for many other people.